In the fall of 2020, I was invited to teach a bottle brick wall workshop at the Tamaqua Sustainability Project in Pennsylvania. I took the opportunity to meet everyone that was involved one-on-one -on -one to hear their unique stories and to share them with all of you. In this video, I'd like to introduce you to Luis Zepeda, who's been researching adobe and eco bricks in order to build an eco village. My name is uh, Louis Zepeda. Um, I came here to Stonehenge Gardens because I was invited by Nikki, who facilitated the weekend here. I try to uh, plug uh, eco bricks whenever, whenever possible. I'm, I'm, I facilitate a project down in South Texas, so that's actually what I'm working on right now is just trying to process my non-recyclable plastics and put it into a bottle. And then these eco bricks then are used to uh, create various structures of different kinds. So I've been I've already been doing that for a couple of years now, showing people how to like make them and uh, what to do with them. And now it's time to actually uh, build with them because we we have. Uh, a bit of a collection already so uh, now I need to get into like Adobe and working with it um, and so I'm trying to get around like not using cement uh, in my in my projects and my buildings because cement is supposed to not be very good for the environment uh, I talked to Tom and you know I thought you know this would be a great place to start working uh, on my um, Adobe research uh, uh, Tom let me do some Adobe experiments out here so actually I found that that was probably the most valuable part of my trip up here. I mean, it was really cool to work on the Earth ship uh, with Will and Bill. You know, that was, that was a really good experience. It's really good to get some um, hard labor in, like especially working with the Earth. I think that's really important. I don't really get a lot of that, like being in the city, living in an apartment. I don't really have access to like land or much less land that I can dig up and like work with my hands and my feet. And But having been able to do that in the past month, it's like, it feels great and you know it feels great to like wake up sore and it's just it feels like it's really needed and I feel like I feel stronger uh, so it's a great kind of side thing that I didn't see coming great benefit that I didn't see coming um, shit, perfect well uh... <laughs> <laughs> And then to say, yeah, oh, okay, oh. oh, just, just, you should check out my website. It's bodymovin.net, uh, no G on the bodymovin.net. Uh, so um, I have a lot of the different projects that I've worked on on there. I have a video that shows how to make eco bricks, and I, I'll have the video posted up about Adobe recipes. So if you're interested in learning about Adobe and the experiments that I've done and uh, a recipe that you can use, um, check out my website, bodymovin.net. If you're interested in uh, learning about eco bricks, or if you're interested in uh, conglomerating and spreading that message, you know, taking responsibility for what you consume to your community, then definitely hit me up uh, with my contact information that's on that website. All right, that's it for this video. I'm putting a link to Louie's website in the description for you, so if that's something that interests you, then go check that out. This interview is featured in a full-length documentary on the Off-Grid Guru channel, so be sure to subscribe and check out our other videos covering this inspirational project. Plus, if you want to check out the Tamaqua Sustainability Project in Pennsylvania, I'm going to put a link in the description so you can stay up to date with all the courses and classes that are available.